The Race for a Cure, No Shave November, St. Baldrick's, events all designed to raise awareness for cancer and money for research. But not many donors or participants get the chance to see how that money they raise is actually used. Denver 7's Nicole Brady found some of the research you are funding is going on right here in Colorado. <laughs> On the Anschutz Medical Campus, you expect to find test tubes and beakers in the labs. You don't expect to find middle school hockey players. So this is um, the pediatric um, department of hematology and oncology. Peter and Charlie are getting a tour of the labs because for the past couple of years, they've shaved their heads to raise money for the St. Baldrick's Foundation. This brain tumor is called an ependymoma. About 50% of kids will not survive. So it's actually a very aggressive type of brain tumor. And this summer, the foundation is funding two summer research fellows to look into some of the toughest pediatric cancers. And I like the idea of pediatric neuro-oncology because I'm not that much older than some of these kids. I'm doing a lot of cell culturing and stuff with leukemia, basically. Sarah Slack and Arushi Ravel have had a busy summer. Both are trying to find weaknesses in certain cancer cells that could make them vulnerable to new drugs. Well, I'm specifically looking at a gene in leukemia called MLL2 and how knocking out that gene affects human leukemia cell survival. So if we can figure out sort of what proteins and what molecular drivers there are of the tumor, we can treat it better. Sarah knows the work she's doing is just one small punch in the fight against childhood cancer, but it's an important one. It's cool to be able to make a difference before I have that graduate or medical degree. For Arushi, the work is personal. My childhood best friend was actually diagnosed with brain cancer. That best friend is now her college roommate. And Arushi believes it was that early exposure to childhood cancer that led her to this summer's leukemia research. I think the younger you get involved in projects like this, the more you can see the impact in the future. The grants funding Arushi and Sarah's work only lasted for 10 weeks this summer, but full-time researchers say every bit helps when it comes to finding the next big breakthrough. The bulk effect of all of these students and all the contributions and, you know, we can tick off several tumors that are now not a concern or other diseases that people don't have to worry about anymore. Nicole Brady. Man, that was impressive. Pretty smart and kids. since 2000, the St. Baldrick's Foundation has funded more than $253 million in grants for childhood cancer research. One of their latest grants, $100,000 for pediatric brain research at the University of Michigan, is funded by the Hope for Daisy Research Fund. It's named for Daisy Walsh, a young girl from Aurora who's been fighting brain cancer for five years. Now, doctors say Daisy radiates joy and strength despite all that she has had to endure during her treatments at Children's Hospital Colorado.